Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we are going to be making our tri-fold wallet with three inserts. So I'm gonna wanna pick a page from my paper pad um, because I want it to be a bigger tri-fold wallet than we've done in the past. Let's see if we can find a good, a good page. And yeah, I'm saving those butterfly ones for, for something else. And so I think we'll go with, with this one here. Another way for us to add some more. blue in the journal okay and I am going to take off the branding strip okay so this is an insert with three inserts is what it is if I fold it up this way then we'll have the beautiful roses on the front. Okay, and remember my, my book that I'm using is really tall. So inserted into a pocket, you know, it can be pretty tall. Okay, so you can make this any size that you want to. Okay, I'm going with that size right there. So it, when it's in the pocket, this is what we'll have, I think, and I like that. So I only have a couple of things that I can make before I need to have my journal put together. Um, a lot of the pieces this time are actually pieces that would be um, in the journal. Okay, so this time I'm gonna fold it a little different than we've done the last time. I'm actually gonna hold it, or lay it on top of each other like this. And, um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it this way. Okay, now remember your item has to have three decorations or embellishments and your um, so this is the item, the trifold wallet. So this folds this way. We have a good fold and this folds this way. And we have a good fold. This will be the, what you'll see when um, this is in the pocket. Now I think to start off with, I think I wanna add some lace to this. Okay, so we're using items from our kit that we have made. I have, my kit is right here. Um, I have my tools, everything that I've picked. I, the only thing I, I still need to compare those, um, the inks that were in my haul video and decide which ones I was gonna use. And then of course I found a really cool, look at this stamp pad I found in my, the, in my mom's stuff. So it has four, four inks in that. <laughs> it didn't even, hadn't oh gosh you guys it, as I'm getting this room set up I'm finding things that honestly that I didn't know I had because I I found a couple of boxes of my mom's stuff that were here for me to go through and I hadn't gone through them yet so okay so I'm going to go ahead and cut this remember this is the burlap and lace from uh, Dollar Tree and I chose this. Um, look at this cool, messy thread that you would have too. So, 
So we haven't done any messy thread in a while. Hmm. Maybe we'll do some messy thread on this because you can use your binding kit. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm cutting this in half. I love this because with this three yards of ribbon, I get three yards of burlap and I get three yards of lace, but if I, um, I mean, I get three yards of burlap and lace, but then if I cut it apart, it's actually six yards of this little lace, which I really think is going to be cool. Okay. Okay, so my fabric tack is right here. I have a new little, well, it's not new. I've had this for many years, at least, at least 11, because I know I had it before I... Well, you know what? They were bought for my party when I became a Mary Kay sales director. And that was 2006. Well, whenever Hurricane Katrina was, that's when I... So... Another lifetime ago. <laughs> okay, so there I'm just going to add that. I think that's going to be really pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. Okay. And let's see. Thread is right here. I got to learn where things are too because I, you know, some things I might have put them in places that they haven't been before. I can tie it, right? So we'll, maybe we'll tie it. Okay, so around three fingers, around four fingers, around three fingers. Cut it. Okay. Then pull it so that it's all together then we'll go ahead and lay it on top of here this is where I usually put the double-sided tape on but we'll just tie it this will be fine okay go ahead and fluff it So, and we'll go ahead and usually, like I said, usually it's um, double sided tape right there. So, go ahead and put that down. I have this ready. So this is one of the, from one of the ephemera sheets from the digital. I'm using the digitals that I gave the Patreons in, um, It's like any day now it will hold and then I think we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of bling just add that right like that okay so there is the cover of our trifold wallet and now we need to fill it up okay I'm, I'm 
drinking my coffee this morning out of my my mug. Love it. These are um, available down below there. And um, I just washed and hung my sweatshirt. I'm looking forward. I haven't gotten to wear that in a while. So I'm looking forward to, to um, wearing that. So I did cut down a whole page of ephemera. And so these are the pieces that I have. Okay, so now our trifold wallet. We're going to go ahead and we want to do something in here that that makes it special, makes it like it's it is a wallet. And so I have I have a plan or at least I have an idea. Okay, so I have I'm looking to see what leftover pieces I have of things. Okay, so I'm thinking three pockets here. Now I could go ahead and, you know, stack them on top of each other, but I think what I'm going to do is do like this where, um, oh, darn, almost, almost fits that way. make sure we're in the right orientation. I'm going to go ahead and grab a cutter. Some things have, have totally new places. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut this down. And I'm going to go ahead and There, there, and there. Okay, so that's going to give me one. And then this one. Again, almost no cigar. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut it that way. edge off a little. And you could go ahead and put these over like that, overlapping, but I, um, the thing about overlapping like that is then you, you, it could get stuck on things. Um, also, I want this, I really like the rose. Let's go ahead and put that down. I'm just thinking about a couple things here before I before I commit to the to this this last cut here. Okay, so we'll put all those over there. And we'll have put these down. Okay, so before we put those down, I want to grab my my 
tools. Pull my drawer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I want to make sure they're in the right orientation. We're going to go ahead and put a little hole on it so you know where where it is. There are um, letters. Okay, so now this one, since we didn't, um, we can do this because we didn't. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's come up over here. Okay, so there's D and E. D, D. Yeah. Okay, so open it up and I can go ahead and get the hole right in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put a hole right in this one as well. Okay. So that one's going in that one, that direction. That one's going in that direction. And let's see. I was like, oh, we could put this down behind there. Okay, and I'm holding with my left and ripping with my right. Going with that really cool white tear there. The white tear is going to look cool on the white paper. So, and I'm trying to cover as much of the white paper as I can. Um, but I'm not a big distressor, and um, so I try and utilize the white paper in ways that okay so using the white edge on that I like that okay but this this was too big over here okay so that can go in there now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on and I'm going to leave that as a pocket. And that's just because I love pockets and I cannot lie. I have to, I like to leave pockets. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put that way up there so it doesn't keep sticking to everything. Okay. So we're going to go around the edge, around the three edges, like a... Like a U, or in this case, it looks kind of like a C. C? Okay, so we're going to put this back down. And that's going to give us a pocket right here. Okay. Okay, so we'll have a pocket here and we'll have this pocket here once this, um, this gets closed. And then over on this side, 
Let's go ahead and these can get put in. Okay, so, so right now we're building the wallet. This is the inside, obviously, of the wallet. Okay. And you'll see on this one, it doesn't quite go to the edge. I'm going to be fine with that. I'm going to um, maybe do something for that. We'll see. We're going to put the rose one down. Make sure there's no glue on the inside of that. And put it down right next to the other one. So, and then this one's going to go down. So, we're going to have one, two, three there. Okay. So this is going to give us a pocket here and a pocket here. And then when this gets glued down, there will be a pocket here. So then we have this pocket here and... <clears throat> I think what we're going to do is um, do something a little different. We're going to go ahead and carefully cut on the line here. Okay, so we can go ahead and finish um, putting these pockets down. Okay, we put glue on both edges. And that gives us that pocket. And over here, put glue on the inside piece and the top of the pocket. And close. Okay. Okay, and then this folds, comes down, so there's that, there's that, and I am going to go ahead and fold these, okay, so I am going to come and cut this just a sliver on each side. So here we've made another item using one of our 12 by 12 pieces of paper. Now remember my scrapbook paper is lightweight. So um, it's not cardstock. OK, 
Okay, so there's that. And, um, okay. Now I want another piece. You know what? Let's go with a one of our pieces from our the other journal. Okay. okay. There's that. I'm gonna come over here and catch this. Okay. And I'm going to cut that. I do these different every time I don't make my trifold wallet the same, probably ever. They're always, always a little different. Okay. Okay, so I like that, but I, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. We're going to go with this one. Now I'm going to come up here and make a, a little mark and make a fold. Okay, so I'm going to fold this. I'm not going to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my finger here so that I can tell where it is that I wanted that fold to be. Okay, I'm going to fold it over. And look, I chose that to be there. It's going to go ahead and fold there. I'm also going to fold it this way. Okay. And I can pick it up and put some glue. Oh, you know what? First, I was trying to think if it needs a little dilly bobber. I think it does. Okay, so this is this is what I'm. <laughs> this is the dilly bobber today. Today's dilly bobber is this. Okay, because we are going to make a tuck space on this side. I'm going to go ahead and flip this up. Okay, I want to make sure that this is going to close inside out of all the things, out of all the places that this is. That's the most important thing to me is that this is going to close inside. I'm going to add some glue there. Fold it down. So that should close in there just fine. Okay. Now we'll go over to this side and close this up. Now we could do like a waterfall on this side, um, but it would be hard to, to hold it closed. So I'm just going to do the, put glue on the two sides like that and pull it down. Okay. 
And that's going to give me a little tuck spot. Okay. And I think it's really pretty. Okay, so open, open. Now we're going to have this. And I'll flip up and flip down. And you could go ahead and have a second pocket space all the way down here. But I don't want to use the same... same paper that's right next to it and I don't have any cut so we won't be doing that and that's just fine okay okay so here I want to do um, um, I want to do something that's gonna hold this I can just hold it with this. Okay, so we can get into, these are the cardstock ephemera pieces that I have. Again, these are from the Patreon. Um, I think we'll use that one right there. I think it's big enough to be okay. And then after this, we have to make inserts. We need three inserts. Okay, and so your trifold wallet should have different things going on on each of your three three spaces. It shouldn't just be a you know fold the pocket up and have just the bottom pocket with things. It should be like one of those magical wallets that you find. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> My drawer is, is to the left of me now. It's not right in front of me. Um, okay, so we are going to go ahead. Ooh, if I go up. No, we want this to be on on there. I'm going to go ahead and make my, put my pokey tool through. Okay, we're going to put this little pad under here. So we'll line it up. Just so I don't, I don't go through this. Oh, Lucy must be coming in. Midnight's hissing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so I pre-did the holes so that I know where, where I'm going for the right um, fit. I have a piece of thread here. You can use thread and needles. It's part of your binding kit. And then you can use your binding kit for whatever you want to use it for. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew this on rather than gluing it on. Cause I think that that will be a fun, a fun touch. Okay, I am going to put some glue 
on my um, on the back side of the thread. Okay, and then we're just going to tie it in a bow. Can we do it with? Yeah, we can. It's like, can I tie a bow without having to worry about that needle? Yes, I can. Okay, my bow's a little to the right. That's okay. <laughs> do what we gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down and I'm just gonna take some of the little glue that's on the edge there. that down there we go okay and then cut the pieces off okay okay so there's that and then this comes down and that will hold it closed. Okay. Okay, now inside here, I am going to want some paper. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of the coffee dyed paper that I made. Um, Cause that's gonna be faster than pulling some pages out of the book. <laughs> That's the only reason. Maybe I'll add that too, though. Okay, it's okay. I can use this because I've got something coming up that I can use that edge for. So I want this to be underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I am going to... Let's grab one of these. Okay, I don't want to waste I don't want to waste that good paper. This is my book we've been that we're using. I'm okay that it's ripped. Amazing the things you can do when you can find your tools because you moved them. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And okay. Okay, so we're going to make a little waterfall page here. inside one is is a little bit bigger okay so I have three three pages I'm going to put this in the middle and you can see I'm staggering them okay so we've got that we've got that
Okay, so staggering it. That's pretty pretty close right there. If we pull this down just just a little bit. Okay. I mean, you could just do like a stack of note in here. I just think it kind of fun to do something a different. Okay. So there we have our messy waterfall page. And now to glue this down, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to want, I'm going to pull this back and give us a piece to glue. Okay, so this is going to be that piece, and then we're going to want another, we're going to want a piece to glue for this one, and we're going to want a piece to glue for this one. That way they all have a place to be glued down. Let's start with this one. Okay. This is our fold up. Okay, and lift this up and put our glue under this one. See, to me, one of the fun things about the junk, the journals, the junk journals, is all the, you know, pulling pulling things out and lifting things up the, the secret all the secret places that's one of my favorite things okay so this is going to lift up this is going to come down and sit in there this is going to fold and this is going to fold okay now we need inserts. So there's my wallet. Okay. So I have, oh, this, this folds down and protects that. Okay. So I do want to cut a little off of this. Yeah. Okay. Well, darn. Feels nice. Okay, so there's that. And we have our decorations because we've decorated the front. And now let's go ahead and we need to add in our I'm gonna cut a little more off this one too. Just up into the crease. You can get these to sit, maybe even iron the, the coffee dyed paper because that's what's happening is the curl from the edge of the coffee dyed paper is lifting on this side. Okay, so you can also put something here. Um, and I think I'm going to want something along along there let's see what we have in our in our stuff over here so many pages with black okay we 
I do have And I want to cover up that edge right there. What if we just cover up that edge? Just that edge. Okay. little stream of glue coming out of this one today. Yeah, and you see, I'm going to make it a pocket because I love pockets. And I cannot lie. <laughs> I mean, if there's a place and you can put a pocket there, I'm going to put a pocket there. Now, whether I put anything in it or not, we'll see. But I am gonna put a puck. I'm gonna put that right in there, okay? And around the edges of this makes it easier to go in the pockets, and you can see that originally this was rounded. I just, when I cut it, I was playing with my new trimmer. There we go. There we go. I like that. Okay. Okay, so um, go with three inserts and These are all cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out as it is, but then I'm going to change it up. Just get these these pieces out. Work on this one for one. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. Of way the way the picture is not the way the book page is because it's kind of funny this this book has pictures in it the the pages are crooked or the print and stuff is crooked compared to okay if I do it like that how far in does this go What if we fold this over? Okay. I think we'll just do a flip on this. I'm not going to go ahead and... Um, Just gonna it's just gonna be a flip okay but it needs um, I need something on this edge so 
we've got lots of the border strips, the branding strips. will make a great little tab. Okay, and didn't we have like a little tiny piece of lace? Let's put these up here. Oh, put the thread Put the needle back back in the kitty. <laughs> I still have Mama's squeaky chair. Um, <laughs> Tom has moved the the chair that was coming in here. He moved it into the radio the radio shack the radio room. So I still have mommy's, mommy's, <laughs> mama's squeaky chair. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this little piece of lace. I just think that that, that helps with that. I'm going to use my fabric scissors. Yay, they still work. I accidentally used them on. Okay, yeah, that's going to be my tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some glue down. Add the lace. Put some glue down. Add the front piece. And could leave that and... <laughs> I would do that for, for myself, leave that so that I could write in it, but yeah, not, not going to do it on, on this one. Okay. So there's that. And then this can go in here. Okay. So we've added two things. I think we'll add, since it's outside at the edge, we'll add a little bit of the bling. Okay. Okay. That can go right in. It's still drying. Uh -oh. Get that out of there before it. in there because I think I got glue on that, that side so yeah don't don't try and put your thing in there before it's dry and maybe uh, what I was I was trying not to um, to staple this because I didn't want staples in the middle of the okay so we're gonna put that up there and I'll let it be okay so I have this insert and I'm going to go Wow, there's no piece that's big enough. I needed a backing. Well, let's just put that in there. Okay, so we need another insert. 
and we need a tall one. Do we have something tall here? Ooh, we got, we got this, and we've got this. I think we're going to go with this one. This was the Emeralds, I think it was Emeralds Extra Easter. Or Extra March. So, Emerald Patreons, we are going to be doing our craft with me very soon and we're going to be using um, our April kits, our April ephemera kits. Okay, so there, that that's going to be able to go in there. I like that. I like that you can still see this. Okay, so we're going to want to, um, I mean, I think that I, I noticed that the, the main thing I'm adding is tabs. And I think on this one, we're going to add some other, there it is. Go ahead and flip this over. And we'll make just a quick little notebook out of this. My tools are not where they usually are. They're the ones that I can use in this project are in a little uh, tray over here to the right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and staple those on. And then I'm just gonna cut across the bottom of it. And you see we have um, lines on the back of that. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. We have some of our fabric. You know what, I think. <laughs> Remember the string? I think this might be a good one to... Okay, so using the string from the binding kit. And one of the things that I've done to be able to take this with me, I don't have it right here, but I squished a toilet paper roll and I took a whole roll of this 
and I put it on the toilet paper roll because I use one of those um, pencil boxes for my binding kit in my travel kit and um, so that's that's one of the things I do it's it's always ready to go except for right now because my my office is totally in disarray as I um, move my move some of the furniture a lot of my furniture is is I mean it's it is where it is it doesn't get to be moved my um, the map drawers that hold my stamps um, there's just no place else and then my my husband had taken the two bookshelves that I have and um, he made me a, a shelf along this edge of the the room and then another small shelf and so there's a lot of things I can't move in here okay I don't want to lose the March I do want there to be a tab here so I am I'm fluffing okay I'm fluffing that and I'm gonna go ahead and staple it the stapler is one of the tools I chose okay so string is one this is two and the paper is three items added and then that can go right in there and I like that because you still can see this butterfly so I like that very much okay um, and let's see one more I have this one I don't think I think these are all too big to go in anywhere My book is crooked and it's making it so I can't get things into my corner there. Okay, so this this one has something. So this is our second insert. And now it has um, a tab with lace and bling. So tab, lace, bling, that's its three things. And that's going to go right in there. Okay, so very simple. And look at how that fits. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Um, and was, there, this one. No, this one. And this is cardstock, so. We're going to try this one, see if we, what we can do with this. And I decided to use the Patreon um, digitals this time because otherwise they're just going to sit in a pile over there and never get used up so um, and I used the emerald march background and had put that on the background so there's already um, journaling space on the back and let's see that one fits like that okay it has to fit because it's an inside piece Oh, but look it. It doesn't there's there's room. Okay, so if I cut this down Okay, so if I go around, I'm going to go ahead and go around to cut this down. I'm going to go on the inside of the line. I 
a pretty card. It's a candy, candy company card. go right in right in there make sure that it'll fold yeah everything still folds just fine okay so for this one I don't think do I have any little things on this little stamp there's a little flower Oh my gosh, Olive has grown so much. She is bigger than Wiley. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stamp as one of my things. So stamping. Okay, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add lace again. I'm going to add it across the top of the card from the back side. Putting that down. If we have to, I'll cut a little from the bottom. To fit it in that pocket. I think we're done with the little stamp. I'm really happy with the way these um, stamps work. They're from uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so we stamped as one thing, we added lace as the other thing. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that bling. And we'll add... We'll add some bling. I want it to land in that that hole. The thing is, is it also makes it easy, easier to pull this out because of the bling. Okay, so let's see how it folds. Folds. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's see. We have one, two, three inserts. You can add more. You can decorate more. I mean, obviously we could add some decoration uh, down down to the bottom parts of the of here as well but I think I like it I think we're good um, I think I'm gonna add that other piece of bling right there across the fluffy ruffle I'm gonna put it right I'm going to put some glue down to hold it. it. It does have sticky, but I just don't think that the sticky is going to you know, hold it long term. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that, like that, like that. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll let that dry. Um, okay, so here's my trifold wallet. I decided to make it large so that it also is a large tag in my journal. So I um, decorated the cover with my three elements. And um, I may distress this a little bit once I choose my ink. Um, we'll see. I may even distress the lace once I choose my ink. Looks like we might have a visitor. Backyard. Um, okay, added some bling also. Open it up. And remember, I do have this pocket here that I can add something to. And so we took this piece of the digital and added it here. We have this pocket here. And we made this insert using one of the ephemera pages, added the string around, and um, I did add a little glue and tied a bow here, and then made this fluffy little tab, and we stapled it on, and then added some bling, and that just goes right in there. And of course, there's room in here to add more things as well. Open this up. We have three pockets here. And then we added this little pocket that we can put this right in. And this was one of our inserts. So this talks about common milkweed. And there's our little picture and some journaling space. And I love the way this fit right in there. I love that. And I loved it so much, I duplicated it here, added some stamping, some lace, and this, remember the background was already um, put on there. So if you are participating in this challenge, remember that you can print your digitals on anything that you want to. And you can print both sides. So people are printing on the, their scrapbook paper, and printing on ledger and graph paper to get those other papers into their journal. Don't forget that the there are nine digitals on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Today is the last day and they are the sepia spring, spring flowers, and several others. So do go check those out. And remember, we'll be using digitals for the rest of the year in the challenges. So um, you might want to catch them when they're 50% off or finish a challenge so that you receive your free digital in the virtual internet party, the prize for finishing your journal. Um, so, yeah, so we have a triple pocket here triple pocket page and then we have a flip up flip down here with a waterfall insert here and it might be kind of fun to add some stamping there remember we sewed this on I did glue this to the back here also and then I did add a little glue down here and this is the little closure that just helps to keep that closed you do have to hold this down to close this and then remember that on this one, there's also a space, a tuck space back here that you'll be able to add something as well. But um, yeah, so remember we flipped that over and that gave us this spot back here. Okay. Okay, our trifold wallet with three inserts and of course you can do more, is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget that we are here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. And we use the Premiere format so that we can have that live chat. So if you want to join us in that live chat, hit that live chat button. Come on over, say hello so we can welcome you. And we're looking forward to meeting you. Um, and remember that the thumbs up and any interaction with a YouTube channel 
helps YouTube know the videos you would like to see. Also helps get those videos out for others to see. So um, I have gone ahead and I've put the folding the 12 by 12 paper and the regular paper that I'm using in the journal. I put those two videos up here and then of course YouTube's going to pick one that they think you want to see and I'm going to wish you to find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.